Good day and now we will tackle about decimal to binary. When we say decimal, it has a base of 10. While binary has a base of 2. When we say base of 2, we expect that we have 2 characters to be executed. So, expect natin ang lalabas is 2 characters which is 1 and 0. Pero 1 and 0 lang siya. Sa ating first example, 35 with a base of 10, convert natin sa binary. Lahat ang lalabas dito is 1, 0, 0 lang, 1, ganon, parang ganon. Then, yung method natin is yung 2 raised to 0 plus 2 raised to 1. ipag add lang natin yon. So, hindi naman natin kailangan mag-evaluate ng mga na expression kung ipag add lang natin yung multiples of 2 from 1. Ngayari, 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 2 times, 4 times 2, ganon. Then, add natin hanggang sa kung anong terms ang abutin niya. So, dun sa first example natin, yung 35 is can be written in this form. Then, 1, 2. Tagyan natin ng space. Then, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32 times 2, 64. Hindi natin pwede gamitin yung 64 dahil exceeding na siya dun sa given nating 35. So, 32 lang natin. If we can write 1 under the 32. Write 1 under the 32. 35 can be written as, according to addition property, as 32 plus 3. Yung 3 can be written as 2 plus 1, according to addition property. Tapos yung 2 at 1, lagyan din natin ng 1. Then, yung remaining, remaining are zeros. Then, yan na yung binary natin. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. For another example, we will use 3 characters naman for the base 10. 130. Lagyan natin 130 with a base of 10. Convert sa binary. Katulad nung method natin kanina, nilist natin yung from 1, then 2, 4, times 2, 8, times 2, 16, times 2, 32, times 2, 64, times 2, 1, 2, 8, then times 2 is 2, 5, 6. We can't use 2, 5, 6 anymore because it is exceeding from the given number. Pwede lang natin gamitin 128, so 1, then 130 can be written as 128 plus 2 according to addition property. Then yung 2 natin, lagyan natin as 1. Then yung mga natira ay lagyan natin ng 0. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Yan ang binary niya. And we are done for our second example. Then for our last example, medyo hirapan natin uh, mga 1,400 no, with a base of 10. Convert natin into binary. Katulad ng examples kanina, nag-list tayo nung multiples from 1. Maka hanggang sa makabutay ng 1,400. 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32 times 2, 64 times 2, 1, 2, 8 times 2, 2, 5, 6 times 2, 5, 12 times 2, 1,048 no, no. I mean, 1,024. 1,024. So, yung 2048, din na natin pwede gamitin, di ba? So, uh, recommended ko yung paglalaro ng 2048 para makabisado nyo yung multiples na yun. Nasa Google Play Store lang yon At madali lang din ang mechanics ng laro. Then, sa pag-solve nito, katulad lang din nung kanina, nilist natin, di ba, 1,024 plus 256. Mga kailan na tayo, din nag-plus pa tayo ng 64. Dun sa, para may check mo yung, kung tama yung sagot mo sa binary, pwede mong i-plus yung mga nalagyan mong 1. Nangyari, sa first example natin, nalagyan natin ng 1 ay yung 32, tsaka yung 2, tsaka 1. So, pag-plus lang natin yan, 32 plus 2 plus 1 is 35. Then, yung sa second example is 128 
tsaka 2 plus 2, 130. Babalik ka lang dun sa example mo o sa given mong decimal. Dun sa 3 natin, pwede mo lang din ipag-plus yung mga nakuha mong binary corresponding once, once, at ipag-plus mo yung mga total na yun. At babalik ka rin sa 1,400. Dito ay 16, 1, 0, 0, 0. Then, this is the answer. Thank you.